in the next session what I want to show you are the basic components within a synthesizer. They are the oscillator, the filter, the amplifier, the low frequency oscillator and the envelope shaper. Okay well I'm going to use the ALSA modular synthesizer to explain the basic components within the synthesizer. I've got one already set up here and my MIDI keyboard is connected to it. I'll press a key and we should hear a sound. Let's try and explain what's going on here. This is my VCO, my voltage controlled oscillator. It's the thing which is actually producing the main sound at the moment. The frequency is being set here, which it's receiving from my MIDI controlled voltage output controller MIDI input basically um, <clears throat> so whatever key I press controls the frequency which the main oscillator runs at its rectangle signal is coming out and goes into this low pass filter the, fre the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter is actually being set by the frequency of the key I'm being produced. So it's creating a very interesting cutoff around the note I'm making. Um, the low pass filter um, <coughs> also has two other inputs here um, the exponential frequency and also its resonance. So these can be modulated as well, but I'm not doing that in this instance. The pulse width, that's actually the, the size of the, the triangle, um, the square wave, is being set by this low frequency oscillator here on the left. This is why we've got that oscillation. If I right click there so I can see what frequency it's running at and um, we can see it's running at 3 hertz if I keep a key to press and change the frequency I've got the envelope. If I right click the envelope we can see a very typical envelope pattern. I've got my ADSR attack, decay, sustain level and my release um, settings here. I can vary the attack to be slow or very fast. Um, on this tab here I've got the hold length set at the top and my delay factor at the beginning. So let's go back to the normal ADSR settings. So the output from our low pass filter comes into our amplifier and comes out and goes into the um, audio world. Now the gain control of our amplifier is controlled by our envelope. So this envelope controls this knob for want of a better analogy. Um, it's like me quickly rising the knob up pulling it down, running down. And this is how we get different sounds using the low pass, uh, sorry, the low frequency oscillator varying the, the main oscillator into a, a low pass filter 
an amplifier which is controlled by our envelope maker.